Welcome to Spain's most unusual city. Situated on the North African coast, over 100 miles from the Spanish mainland and surrounded by Morocco, this is the autonomous city of Melilla. Whilst the enclave of Melilla might be surprising in itself, what's perhaps more surprising is that it's been in existence for over 500 years. In fact, it outdates the surrounding Moroccan nation by hundreds of years, a fact that is often repeated whenever sovereignty comes into question. For most of those years, however, Melilla didn't extend much beyond the garrison here on Melilla la Vieja. It was only during the mid 19th century that the town itself began to grow and the port started to flourish. Although the town has grown considerably since the mid 19th century and now has a population of around 80,000, it still only comprises around 12 square kilometers. In every corner of Melilla la Vieja, the old town, the views are quite simply breathtaking. After weaving his modernist magic in Barcelona in the early 20th century, Catalan architect Enrique Nieto surprisingly moved to Melilla and then repeated the feat, leaving the city with some of the most incredible architecture both in Spain and, let's face it, probably the whole of the African continent. If you're a fan of modernist architecture or Art Deco, Art Nouveau, whatever you want to call it, you'll absolutely love strolling around the centre of Melilla. <laughs> Melilla has really surprised me. I'd always wanted to come here, mainly for the curiosity value, to see this strange cocktail of North Africa and Spain. But I didn't realise how beautiful the place was and how much there was to see and do. I definitely hope to return one day. For now though, join me on the next journey. 
subscribe to the channel. See you soon.